Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment, educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. I was just talking to you all in the other video about what is transpiring right now, okay? And y'all, I'm telling you, stay alert, stay aware for your own sake, your own household's sake, okay, y'all? Um, I keep telling y'all it's a spiritual warfare going on right now. And this is a part of it, y'all. This is a part of it. I want y'all to hear what they're saying. And this right, when I heard this right here, this also made me think about somebody talking about that Christians, y'all should be going at the Christians. Okay, y'all? And leave, you know, in Russell need to get a voice. Okay, y'all? And talk against his church, his beliefs, and all of that because people was taken up of him. Listen to this right here, y'all. Okay? Listen. It's, you know what's crazy? I was a step in front of all this happening from y yesterday, and I didn't even know it. Okay, let's go, y'all. Wait a minute. Let me click it. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee just signed into law a ban on all forms of gender affirming care for trans people under 18. Trans radical activist network is hosting Trans Day of Vengeance. Tennessee has passed this garbage bill, SB01. I'm so tired of this shit. Enough is enough. Trans Day of Vengeance. On March 31st through April 1st, Matt Walsh apparently has a message for us. Let's go ahead and take a watch. Trigger warning, transphobia. And just so everybody knows, everything he's saying is complete bullshit. But there's another point too. This is something that I want to say specifically to the trans activists. Please always remember this. You started it. Just for the record, they started it. Please join us for Trans Day of Vengeance. And called every single source, but they even made up a new sport just for me. Called stochastic terrorists. So, I don't, I'm still not sure what it means, but, um... For the record, that's not a slur. That's just what she is. Please join us for Trans Day of Vengeance. Much love to you all. Please stay safe. Today, it's time to fucking fight. Trans genocides around the corner. Stop debating cis people in your existence. Join together and start organizing a rally for resistance. Not for talk. I don't care if I got shot. I'm taking a couple of transphobes with me. And I suggest you do the same. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee just signed into law a ban on all forms of gender affirming care for trans people under 18. Trans. Okay, y'all. They're raging, uh, you know, a little WAR right now, y'all, against people that don't want them pushing this agenda off on their kids, y'all. It's something to brewing. Okay, and like I told you, when you're getting little nibbits and bits and pieces from bloggers and they're throwing in their little jabs at, you know, you know, women and men and telling everybody, you know, when somebody bring up the fact, you know, when, when you know, Will Smith's son wore that little, you know, Will Smith's son that wore dresses and everything before, too. But everybody was talking about, you know, his new outfit that he had on looked like a straight up female's outfit. He run around here acting like a thug, okay, y'all, in a dress. And um, for somebody to go over there, leave them alone. They can wear what they want. Da, 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 da. This, this, this thing over there on the Gossip Boy Girl channel, he can't have any kids outside of, you know, putting one in a real woman, okay, y'all? He can't have any kids. And if he did, he wouldn't care because he's going to push that agenda off on his child. And just because he want to put that agenda off on his child don't mean everybody else want that agenda pushed off on, on their child. Okay? People want their kids to grow up in a world, you know, without all of this stuff being pushed on them. They going through enough stuff as it is every day. Okay? And you should, y'all being a parent right now is the hardest thing in the world to try to keep your children out the way of these she he's these demons and all the rest of this mess that's going on okay 
and, and bullets, okay? It's, it's so very hard. It is so very hard. That's why, you know, I can't, if I had um, to start right now having children, I wouldn't bring a child in this world, y'all. I wouldn't. It's too messed up out here. And people are still, you know, running around here having baby after baby after baby. And the majority of them that's having a bunch of kids, a lot of them not seeing to them. They're raising themselves, y'all. So they don't care about what's being pushed out. But the ones that do and that want to sit back and listen to somebody giving them advice or, you know, their opinion on what's going on and is to come, then pay attention, y'all. Because we have, you know, there is a serious WAR going on out here for your children. Okay? You know, I've never in my wildest dreams would think that they would be bringing Ouija boards to a classroom for kids to play with Ouija boards so that they can have an understanding of who Satan is. You know, this don't make sense, y'all. Okay? They're taking the flags out the classrooms now and they're putting in the rainbow flags. Come on now, y'all. We as a people have to take a stand. And if you don't take a stand against this, that's mean you are for it. Okay? And I don't see it no other way. I don't see it no other way. If you don't take a stand and say enough is enough, we are not going to put up with this mess, then you, you, you are part of the problem too when you're just being quiet about it, y'all. Because they're trying to get your kids every which way they can. This music today is so messed up. And it's, it's a shame you used to drive around in your car and you can just jam with certain, you know, DJs that play some good music. You barely get those days now, y'all. You barely get them. Because in between them playing a little good music, they're going to throw in some sh shoot em up bang bangs in there, okay? And this is what they're pushing out here, y'all. They're trying to usher in whatever it is that they need to usher in right now. And they want Satan to lead their, their pack. They're letting you know they want Satan to lead their pack. So y'all got to be careful. Seriously, y'all have to, as a parent, and I'm telling y'all, pay attention to your kids. Talk to them more. Just a little talking to them, them will go a long way. Because they're going to tell you some stuff that you will be surprised at. And you're going to be like, um, I'm going up to their school tomorrow and see what the heck they talking about. Mama, we got a new flag. I love it. It got all the colors. I'm telling you, you will hear this from your children. My teacher say, this is the best flag. My teacher say, y'all got to pay attention. Okay? They're trying to get in on them while they're young and their brain is fresh. That they can just get in there and do whatever and put in there whatever they want to put in there and plant a seed. Okay? To their agenda. Not let these kids grow and learn like they're supposed to. It's crazy. Even the homework is weird, y'all. The homework that's out here now, it's so much homework they piling on these kids. You know, they go to school all day. You would think that they would ease up on some of this homework. But the majority of the homework is for the parents to teach them just as much as, the, you know, more than the classroom to be. Because when people get off of work and they pick up their kids and take them home, you don't want to sit. You know, you got to get dinner ready. You got to wash, you got to clean up, you got to get the kids in the tub and let them, you know, take a bath and go to bed. How can you sit up two, three hours and do homework after you get off of work? You know, it's crazy how they got stuff set up now and it don't make no sense. And I'm so tired of these funny talking people like this that's trying to talk like a woman and they're a man. Y'all, we gonna have it is Tennessee Trans Vengeance Day. Between now, and y'all pay attention to those days that he said thirty first to something that they are you know raging war against people because of the fact that people is not accepting them and the laws is changing and and and, and, and they getting peed off about it. I want y'all to rewind this video and listen to what he said. I forgot what date he said. He said uh, March the thirty first to April or something. I'm trying to see if he it comes back up. But y'all, and it makes you wonder now, y'all, did this bill being passed set that off too? You got bloggers up here telling people, you know, go against the Christians. Okay, it says to April 1st, 31st to April 1st or something like that. Uh, if you got bloggers out here pushing this agenda, okay, and then you got um, people like this talking about, you know, this they passed this law against us. It's, it's Vengeance Day. Um it makes you wonder, 
You know, what was really in that person's mind that went to that school today? Okay, y'all? And hit up those babies. What them babies do? Nothing. Hit up three grown people and three babies, y'all. Because of this mess right here, okay? Like I said, I don't have anything against you. But, you know, I'm going to protect man. I'm going to make sure that they know, you know, what's right from wrong. I'm going to make sure that they know that it wasn't meant to be like this. Okay? And I hope you all are doing the same thing for yours. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, y'all? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.